Okay, welcome back. So this is where we left off last time. We have our situation where our player can walk around. Camera follows nice and smoothly. Oh, see, it's doing it now. See that weird tearing? That's why I prefer using tiled, is you don't get that weird tearing with tiled. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to show you guys tiled. <laughs> All right, anyway, uh, let's make it so that our, uh, our camera doesn't go outside of our area here, so we're not seeing that jarring gray space over here, this infinite abyss. So the main idea behind it is our camera is positioned in space right here. Uh, if I switch over to our move tool here, I don't want my camera to go above this point, and I don't want it to go below this point. I don't want it to go far or for farther, farther right than, oh, not even there, like here and farther left than like there. So essentially what I need to create is a maximum X and Y position and a minimum X and Y position. And if the camera is trying to go outside of those, I'm gonna set it to like, say for example, it wants to go to more than the max X, I'm gonna set it to just be the max X. So again, like the max Y would be up here, max X would be over here. So since I only need those two variables, I really only need, okay, yeah, this camera preview's off. Uh, since I only need those two variables, I really only need two coordinates. I need a coordinate for max x, max y, and I need a coordinate for min x, min y. So for now, I'm gonna find these experimentally, but when we code in those camera transitions where we're going from room to room, we're gonna change them. Um, programmatically. So for the moment, I'm going to go back into my camera script here, and I'm going to add two new variables. First thing I'm going to add is a public vector2 so that I can have an x and y position that I'm going to call max position, and another one, a public vector2 that I'm going to call min position. Save this really, really fast, and let's input those values uh, just experimentally, just by looking at our scene here. So right now it looks like uh, 2.28 on X and 10 on Y. Let's see if 2.25 is good, just because I like nice. Yeah, 2.25 is good. 2.5. Yeah, that's good. All right, so my max position is going to be 2.25 and 10, and then for my min position, I'm gonna move over here and down. You can't tell I'm using this white bounding box right here while I've got my camera selected. And it looks like I'd have a gray bit there, but if I switch over to game, you can't see it. So here I got um, y is negative two, negative two, and I'll say that x is uh, negative 10.35. All right, so now what I have to use is a function called clamp. Clamp takes any specific value and makes it so that it cannot go above or below uh, a set maximum and minimum for that value. So back in Visual Studio here, I'm going to say that my... Uh, so when I have my target position here, um, I'm going to modify that before I do my lerp. So this is where I'm going to be doing the clamping. So I create my target position, and then I have my transform position lerp from where it is to where it wants to be. I'm going to modify this target position. So I'm going to say uh, target position dot x is equal to math f dot clamp, and this takes three variables. Uh, it takes what value you want to clamp, which is going to be target position dot x, what I want the min to be, and the min is going to come from this min position. So I'm going to do min position dot x, and the max is max position dot x. I'm going to do the same clamp to uh, my target position dot y. So target position dot y is equal to mathf.clamp, 
I'm going to clamp it between, or the thing I'm going to clamp is target position.y. I'm going to clamp it between min position.y and max position.y. Uh, all right, cool. So let's save our script really quickly. Jump back into Unity here. Let that compile. And let's see if it worked. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to hit play. Let's walk up. And there we go, we're bounded at the top of the screen. We're bounded at the right. Bounded at the bottom. And we're bounded at the left. So there we go. Like I said, for now, we're setting it just for this one little area. But when we start making more places on our map, we're going to have more places that we're going to need to bound. Um, which means that we're going to have to have those two variables, the max and min position. This is why I made them public. Um, we're going to need to assign those in code based on which room our player is currently in. So like if our player is in this room, these are the max and min positions. If the player is in a different room, the max and min positions are going to be different. Um, yeah, so I guess I am going to go over tiled. That'll be the next lesson next time. Because this, man, it, it doesn't happen consistent. There we go, it just happened. This tearing bugs the heck out of me. Actually, let's look. I know that there's a few things we can do. Um, okay, so if we go to edit, and then project settings, and then quality. There's a few things in there, but I thought I turned them all down. Yeah, anti-aliasing is disabled. So is anisotropic textures, texture quality. Hmm. None of that should have been an issue. The anti-aliasing sometimes will do it. All right, anyway, we'll make it in tiled. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the description down below. Uh, otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post a new video, or you can join me on Discord, where I'm chatting pretty much every day. And yeah, have yourselves a wonderful day.